Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Huyamora, Damas and Yera, Mulweni Maneni, Namaneni Kazi. Welcome to the 2021 summer graduation season of Nelson Mandela University. Over these next two days, we will celebrate the graduation of 171 masters and doctoral students in what is our first in-person graduation ceremony since the global coronavirus pandemic began for us in March 2020. This alone is reason to celebrate. However, as you will appreciate, we have to celebrate within COVID-19 compliance protocols, which is why we are socially distanced, wearing our masks, and have limited our numbers and spread them out over two graduation ceremonies. Apart from adhering to the COVID-19 protocols that you heard earlier, please could we request the following, that the audience please rise when the academic procession enters the hall and remain standing till after the moment of silence and again at the end of the ceremony after the singing of the national anthem as the academic procession leaves the hall. That you please ensure that your cell phones are on silent, but please do tweet using the hashtag MandelaGrad and tell all your family and friends that this event is being live streamed. That you do not leave the hall during proceedings out of respect for our graduates and their families who have worked very hard to achieve their postgraduate qualifications and that you please wear your mask throughout the ceremony. Your safety is our priority, so please comply with this and all other COVID prevention measures. Should you need the bathroom, please head to the back of the hall where ushers will be able to guide you. Please note that in the event of a power failure, we have a standby generator, which will start within a few minutes. We trust that you will enjoy the ceremony and a hearty word of congratulations to each and everyone who is graduating here today, your special day. We'll now await the academic procession.
ladies and gentlemen, please join us for a moment of silence. Thank you. Please be seated. By virtue of the powers vested in me, as Chancellor of the Nelson Mandela University, I hereby constitute this congregation for the purpose of awarding qualifications. Chairperson of Council, Ambassador Nozipo January Badal, virtually and watching us this morning, members of Council in person and virtual, Vice Chancellor Professor Sibongile, Sibongile Mutwa, Deputy Vice Chancellors, Executive Deans of Faculty, Dean of Students, the professoriate, members of the academy, and university staff members, president and members of the Student Representative Council, alumni, university partners, members of the media and stakeholders from government, the faith sector, civil society, communities and business, and most importantly, graduates and your family and friends. Today is actually quite an emotional day for us at Nelson Mandela University. You'd see it's slightly overcast outside. It was raining last night. We had much needed rains. And allow me to be a bit sentimental and superstitious this morning and say it's probably Professor Pepeta looking over us and saying, bring the first rains to break this uh, drought. So we need a lot more, Prof, and others in the galaxy of stars. Change the world. That is our rallying cry as the Nelson Mandela University. It is what we call on staff to do each day at work and we, what we call on students to do during the course of their studies and when they graduate successfully from university. And indeed, that is what each of you receiving your master's and doctoral de degrees today can and will do, and in so doing, many instance, in many instances are already on this journey of doing it. Graduates and members present here today and our digital audience, I wish to thank you for joining us in this new experimental phase of a hybrid graduation ceremony. It's the first time for us to be in this hall in two years. And this is part of what we are at Nelson Mandela University as we strive to change the world. The years 2020 and 2021 brought this, our rallying call, into sharp relief as the world changed rapidly, rapidly around us. A world that has been marked at all levels with alienation. 
Wouldn't we know as Africans? They've tried to lock us down and throw the key away in the name of Omnicron, not acknowledging our scientists and the fact that we are bold enough as Africans to step out and present our research in reality for a better world. We've also seen growing inequality in all its facets. We know growing unemployment. We know the challenges presented by COVID-19 with respect to the dichotomy between lives and livelihoods, something that we must, you must overcome. We also understand what vaccine apartheid means as a region and as part of developing world. The reality and the existential challenge of climate change is also what we grapple with. Governance challenges and a lack of public trust. So Nelson Mandela Madiba said, and this is a message I'd want to repeat today and I quote, I am fundamentally an optimist whether that comes from nature or nurture, I cannot say. Part of being an optimist is keeping one's head pointed towards the sun, one's feet moving forward. There are many dark moments when my faith in humanity was sorely tested, but I would not and could not give myself up to despair. That way, lays defeat and death, close quotes. And you graduating because you believe in what Madiba says, said, and you've lived it to date and you'll even live it more into the future. And as I mentioned those words, difficult words of Paulo Freire also comes to mind. And I thought that I would mention this today, and I quote, it is not the unloved who initiate this affection, but those who cannot love because they love only themselves. It is not the helpless subject to terror who initiate terror, but the violent who with their power create the concrete situation which begets the rejects of life. It is not the tyrannized who initially initiates despotism, but the tyrants. It is not those whose humanity is denied them who neg negate humankind, but those who deny that humanity thus negating their own as well. Force is not used by those who have become weak under the preponderance of the strong, but by the strong who've, who have emasculated their themselves." Close quotes. I thought it was important for us to just recall these words as we live through the times we do. So as graduates, you have risen to all that 2021, 2020 as well, have brought to the fore. You have demonstrated that with commitment, will and success is possible. And with sheer determination, it's absolutely possible. So again, I uh, call on the words of Mandela that says, education is the great engine of personal development. It is through education that the daughter of a peasant can become a doctor, that a son of a mine worker can become the head of a mine, 
that a child of a farm worker can become the president of a great nation. It is what we make out of what we have, not what we are given, that separates one person from another, close quotes. Yesterday, on arrival from Gauteng, I went to the Mission Vale campus. And I want to say to the Vice Chancellor, to academia, to this university, that our medical school at Mission Vale is one of the best and will deliver the best that not only this country will see, but the world will see. From this corner, and amidst the area that the Mission Vale campus is in, it will give the kids in the surrounding hope because it will indeed ensure that out of the communities surrounding that campus, we will see the best from this continent. And that will happen, and you've made it possible. And I am going to conclude at this point by indicating that I place a bit of, will place a bit of a burden on those of you graduating. So we will look forward to your active participation as alumni with this university as we continue our collective work as an engaged university in the service of society to change the world. And we would like to see you out there changing the world in so many ways. So I wish all our graduates well as you journey forth to wherever the next phase of your life takes you. I trust you will retain an identity that clearly defines you as a graduate of Nelson Mandela University. It's not a name that is just dropped from nowhere. It's going to be a heavy mantle to carry, but a proud one. I thank you.
round of applause. It's part of our virtual circumstances. I think those of us who have heard them before knows that it's absolutely spectacular. Our choir, the Nelson Mandela University Choir. We shall now honor guests Proceed with the awarding of qualifications, and I now request the candidates present in the hall to take up their positions. I request the Executive Dean of the Faculty of Health Sciences, Professor Zukiswa Zingile, -la, to present the candidates for the respective qualifications. Madam Chancellor, I request you to confer the master's degrees of the candidates who have completed their respective qualifications during the past academic year. I confer the master's degrees as requested. Madam Chancellor, candidates for the degree Master of Arts in Clinical Psychology coursework My apologies. <coughs> I've got my voice back. Okay. Madam Chancellor, candidates for the degree, Master of Arts in Clinical Psychology, Work. Um, we've got 
Corbus de Toy. <laughs> Madam Chancellor, Vuyogazi Yolanda Fisher. Bridget. Bridget Sinetanja Misani. Luton Aluba <laughs> Madam Chancellor, a candidate for the degree of Masters of Arts in Counseling and Psychology, coursework, Pindile Madondo. Madam Chancellor, a candidate for the degree of Master of Human Movement um, Research. Robert Joshua Knipp. <laughs> Madam Chancellor, a candidate for the degree of Master of Nursing coursework, Sibongile Alicia Elizabeth Ncheko. Madam Chancellor, a candidate for the degree of Master of Nursing Research, Ayanda Mlacha. <laughs> Madam Chancellor, candidates for the degree Master of Pharmacy Research, Lauren Grace Faith Campbell. Madam Chancellor, candidates for the degree Master of Social Work Research. Um, my apologies. Um, we also have for the Master of Pharmacy Research, Maxine Schumann. And then Master um, of uh, Social Work Research. Mzoli Mavimbela, cum laude. <laughs> Nightingale Retabile Muletane. Luvuyo Dego Cum Laude. Madam Chancellor, candidates for the degree Master of Technology Radiography Research. Lynn Van Vogel. <laughs> and Donette Edwards.
Madam Chancellor, this concludes the conferring of master's degrees in Faculty of Health Sciences. Decades of living and you are here, still breathing. Decades of being and you are here, today reaping rewards. Lump in your throat, heavy-eyed heart racing. You're nervous, but no longer of the assignment deadlines overdue or tests starting in five minutes. The world lies before you and how daunting that is. But... You can change the world. Ungo Kinebe, Ugoku, Ustongas Tatu, in the Yatia Kubona Utra no Jahabe Kenza, Bekininiga Bekakekili, Bekala Otamil Dagemi, Yamisa Ilriati, Himan Bobao, Asi Yolena in Lela. Indeed, you can change the world. Ye come from proof of a dark luxuriable proof. Up offerings that you say smart to Dari Messelar. Steen, up steen bow mit work. The still stem that sachy spasses in your arms, Dirk, to the build from Mandela for you for sky. Yay, us the oplosser. Yet, you can change the world. Go forth thankfully. Thank those who have come before you, paving the way to your success. This is their day too. Go forth, resolute, stating claims over your future, not forgetting that. Those who come after you, that this too is their day. Go forth celebratory, accepting that all the triumph and the strife was painful, but that too is grace. This is your victory day. Together, we, we can change, change the world. Thank you. Let's give them a round of applause for that poem. I now request the Executive Dean of the Faculty of Health Sciences, Professor Zukiswa Zingile, to present the candidates for the doctoral degrees. Madam Chancellor. Madam Chancellor, I request you to confer the degrees Doctor of Philosophy in General Health Sciences. And I call upon uh, Professor S. F. Burton and candidate Terry Lynn Fogarty to come to the stage. Madam Chancellor, I request a supervisor, Professor S. F. Burton, to present Terry Lynn Fogarty, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy in General Health Sciences. Madam Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure and privilege to present Terry Lynn Fogarty, a candidate for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, General Health Sciences. With her study entitled Pharmacy Support Personnel, Qualifications and Scope of Practice Needs, the South African Experience. Terry Lynn determined if qualifications for pharmacy support personnel in South Africa have provided the knowledge and practical skills 
required by the prescribed scope of practice. Her study adopted a mixed methods approach in the pragmatic paradigm and was structured around the theoretical framework of the intended, the enacted, and the experienced curricula proposed by Billet. Terry Lynn established that qualification changes should not be one-dimensional, and in addition to responding to changes in legislation, stakeholder needs should be considered, and the potential effects on both providers and learners should be considered. The study has provided valuable insight into the education and training of pharmacy support personnel in South Africa. And furthermore, it contributes to the development of education and training of support personnel globally. With support personnel training being informal in many countries around the world and needing to move to more formal training, the recommendations from this study are valuable in guiding regulators and training providers in the development of qualifications and curricula for pharmacy support personnel. Madam Chancellor, Doctor of Philosophy, General Health Sciences, to Terry Lynn Fogarty. I confer the degree Doctor of Philosophy, General Health Sciences, on Terry Lynn Fogarty. Madam Chancellor, I call upon Sophia Amarantia Marsh to come to the stage for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in General Sciences. I will be presenting um, Sophia Amarantia Marsh for um, conferring of the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in General Sciences, Health Sciences with the thesis Towards National Health Technology Assessment for Medicines in South Africa, Data Requirements and Status of Health-Related Quality of Life Research. <clears throat> Recommendations were made for evidence generation and activities supporting national health technology assessment in the public health sector, focusing on health-related quality of life data for cost utility analysis. The study is the first to evaluate um, this aspect as a South African research field, the existing local data's applicability to CUAs and the instruments used. The South African guidelines for pharmacoeconomic submissions were deemed appropriate for full HTA. However, observational cross-sectional studies, which are unlikely to support CUA, dominated the data, and few were using HRQOL instruments suitable for CUA, um, and few have been adequately translated into local languages. Encourages, encouragingly, most research involves African-based researchers and institutions. Madam Chancellor, I request for you to um, confer the degree Doctor of Philosophy, General Health Sciences, to Sophia Emerentia Marsh.
I confer the degree Doctor of Philosophy, General Health Sciences, on Sophia Emerentia Marsh. Congratulations. Madam Chancellor, I request you to confer the Doctor of Philosophy degree, Doctor of Philosophy in Psychology to Garrett Christopher Barnwell, um, and I will also be presenting him to the congregation. Dear congregation, I have the privilege of presenting Garrett Christopher Barnwell whose thesis is on a multiple case study exploration into community members, eco-psychological responses to environmental degradation in South Africa. This doctoral study's aim is to explore community members' reactions and responses to different forms of environmental degradation in South Africa by analyzing two case studies in Rustenburg in the Northwest province and in the Mpopo province Bembe District. The qualitative case studies relied on placed individual and focus group interviews. The findings of the study were presented in this doctoral thesis, which consisted of five peer-reviewed publications. The study demonstrated the interconnectedness between histories of colonialism, land injustice, and environmental degradation that contribute to the intergenerational psychological distress. <clears throat> in response, grassroots community organizing groups play a critical role in addressing the resulting cumulative environmental harms through place-based resistance and dialogical resurgence. Moreover, the study suggests that critical psychologies have important roles to play in supporting land and environmental justice struggles. Madam Chancellor, I request you to confer the Doctoral of Philosophy degree, Psychology, to Garrett Christopher Barnwell. I confer the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Psychology, on Garrett Christopher Barnwell. <clears throat> Madam Chancellor, this concludes the conferring of qualifications in the Faculty of Health Sciences. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now come to the end of the proceedings. On behalf of the congregation, I wish to thank our graduates, parents, and other guests for their interest in the university and for their presence at this graduation ceremony. I'd also like to thank those who have joined us virtually today. I wish to take this moment to thank our academic and administrative staff, as well as the performers, for their, resp for their respective contributions. As I stated at the opening of this graduation ceremony, We've been through a difficult period, and it's taken the extraordinary efforts 
of a number of people to make this happen today, and I thank them for that. By virtue of the powers vested in me as Chancellor of the University, I now declare this congregation dissolved. I request the congregation to stand for the singing of the national anthem and to remain standing while the academic procession leaves the hall. Oh! 